what's good y'all it's the demon of spotty here again and we'll see if i can get this one up on friday because it would be nice to do a double upload but at the same point in time if i if it has to wait until monday oh well so we'll see when this goes up but one of the things i wanted to talk about is amorosa i know i know it's giving our exactly what you wants with attention but the thing i've been saying a lot lately is whether or not she's invited back to the cookout which, ironic for me, I hate the idea of a cookout, only because niggas be trying to invite everybody for the slightest thing. Like, a white chick on not her head to the beat, and niggas would be like, you invited to the cookout. She, she just nodded on beat. Calm down, calm down, okay? You're doing too much. Uh, I understand she's cute, but calm, calm the fuck down, okay? Either way, when it comes to Amorosa, should she be invited back to the cookout? And... Honestly, it's one of those things I had to think about because when I first thought about it, I was like, no, fuck no, you wouldn't work for the Trump administration. That's like legit one of the only things you can do nowadays to get you kicked out of the halls of nigga. Like, our Kelly's pedophile ass is still in the halls of nigga, and he's a fucking pedophile. We ain't kicked that nigga out yet, but Amarosa went to work for Trump, and it's like, yeah, you, you, you out, you out. Shit. I was gonna say that's not a complete and total one, but now that I think about the other person I could think mainly think about went to work for Trump, Ben Carson. And that nigga damn sure ain't invited to the cookout. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want him sh his sleepy ass showing up at the barbecue. Knowing this nigga, you'd have to watch him because he's falling asleep in my his face on the grill or some shit. Either way. <laughs> Honestly, when I first thought about Amorosa being invited back to the cookout, like I said, my original thought was, fuck no. And then, after seeing some of the shit, like some of the tape she has, because apparently the tape she has of Kat Katrina Pearson, where basically she's, where she was asked on live TV, and they're like, Does Trump, is there a video of Trump saying the N-word? And she said, and you know, she said, no, there's no tape of that. And then... The next day, Amorosa released a Trump, uh, I mean, released a tape of Katrina Pearson saying that Trump said there's a video of him saying the N-word on it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that was some damn good time. Like, she had a fucking receipt. I, I don't see anybody but a black woman come with a receipt that quick, but still. <laughs> like I said, it's not that she's been kicked out of niggadom, but invited back to the cookout, uh, I don't know. To be honest, if I have to give an opinion, I still say no. I don't think she should. And don't get me wrong, even if she does help and does have a tape of this, and she does have somehow help end up taking down Trump, I'm still not gonna say yes because all of this is only happening because General Kelly fired her. Like, if she hadn't been fired, would she still be up in the office? Like, I understand you've been taping for a while and been trying to get proof and everything. I still remember your ass on TV telling everybody that we're going to have to bow down as soon as, you know, now that Trump's going to be in power. And that, that shit's a no. I can understand you could sit there and say he was trying to, you could say he was trying to be a mole and an undercover agent. But even then, I don't believe you were doing that for the sake of black people. I think you were doing that for the sake of yourself. Like, you can sit there and say, well, I'm trying to protect black people and help my people out. But honestly... I would think that would be saving your ass because you would know some illegal shit would happen. So even if something was happening and you were, you know, Mueller start Mueller started closing in, you would probably try and throw everybody underneath that bus to save your own ass. And I I can't say that I would blame her in that situation, but at the same point in time, all the shit that Trump was talking about beforehand, you was basically complicit in it. So I can't sit there and say like now at this point in time that I think everything's going to be okay just because she's trying to say, oh, I'm doing this for black people because there were things that happened in there that were completely against what I stand for. And it's like, I don't know what you stand for, because to be honest, to me, it looks like you sold your soul for one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year when you started working with the Trump administration. Because if shit had really gone south, I can't say I really think Amorosa would have been jumping in the trenches trying to help out black people. I could be wrong. Shit, I hope I am, but that's not the feeling I get. So shit, gonna be honest, 
there's a way to prove me wrong, I'd love for it to happen, but I don't see it, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it there. I don't think she should be invited back to the cookout, even as though, even as stupid as I think the idea of a cookout is, so. Be honest with me, just let me know at the same point in time if you think she should be invited back. This is gonna be one of those situations where there's like, unless Jesus comes down, you're not gonna convince me otherwise. But either way, all right, thanks again, y'all, for listening. Have a good one. Peace.